Hi, did you know that there is a natural variability in the space between your heartbeats and that this variability says a lot about how well your bodily systems are functioning. This is known as heart rate variability or HRV for short. Also, did you know that how you breathe, your breathing patterns and habits can directly affect your heart rate variability. This is Your Breath YouTube channel. My name is Brian Murphy and I work as a Buteco breathing practitioner. I also have a background in education for nearly 20 years. Today I'm going to share with you information about how changing your breathing patterns can improve your heart rate variability. Your heart rate variability is a measurement of the balance between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous systems. These are the two branches of the autonomic nervous system in your body. So let's look at this from the perspective of breathing. The sympathetic nervous system is also known as your fight or flight response and when we are in that state of fight or flight our breathing tends to come from our upper chest. We tend to breathe through our mouths and our breathing tends to be fast and rapid. Also our breathing tends to be very noticeable and erratic. It is important to note that this way of breathing is natural in an emergency situation. It is when this breathing becomes our habitual way of breathing that it is detrimental to your health and your well-being. Many people, especially in the modern world, are breathing like this as a habit without realizing and without being aware of the fact that they're doing this. In general, an overactive sympathetic state in our bodies causes a decrease or a reduction in our heart rate variability. When we are in the parasympathetic state, our breathing tends to slow down. We tend to breathe gently and through our noses. We tend to breathe quietly and calmly and our breathing is less noticeable. Our breathing is also more regular and we tend to breathe using our diaphragms, so genuine deep breathing. This parasympathetic state is also known as the rest and digest state of our bodies and it is when we are most relaxed that this is activated. During this state, acetylcholine is also released which causes our heart rate to slow down and very importantly to increase the intervals um, between our heartbeats. When there is a balance between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system, this tends to increase your heart rate variability. High heart rate variability allows us to switch gears from a relaxed state to dealing with stressors in our environment. Heart rate variability is a significant health marker and it tends to decrease with age. High heart rate variability is connected to cardiovascular health, emotional well-being, willpower and an ability to deal with stress. Low heart rate variability is connected to depression, chronic pain and many other illnesses. The good news is that you can take control and positively increase your heart rate variability by slowing down your breathing and consciously changing your breathing patterns. It's been proven that 5.5 to 6 breaths per minute is ideal breathing pattern at rest for improving your heart rate variability. I have another video that shows exactly this exercise where you breathe in for 4 seconds and out for 6 seconds. So please take a look at that video if you'd like to put into practice how you can use your breathing patterns and your breathing habits to influence your heart rate variability. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the information I've shared with you today and if you did please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment in the comment box below and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you, bye!